Well, this is my old man retired project. 1998 F-150 step side, standard cab. At first glance, you think it's nothing special, but let me tell you, um, I had to look long and hard for this thing because I wanted, this is just what I wanted. I wanted the step size standard cab, SLT package on the inside. And I found this in Whittier, California. Got it from a guy who who's a second owner. He'd only had it six months. He bought it from the original owner who had it 21 years. Took really good care of it. The guy I bought it from had a cabinet business and he quickly found out he really needed a bigger vehicle to haul stuff in, so I bought it from him. California truck, spent all its life there. Not a speck of rust anywhere. Okay, what I've done to it, I uh, haven't spent much money. Um, a couple of the tires are a little iffy. Um, these are the original rims, they're aluminum. At first I was going to replace them with those stock rims like you got on your uh, on your King Ranch and you had on your Red Rocket, but I found out that those, a set of those will add about 100 pounds of weight to the truck. So I decided to keep these for now and I'm going to find me some good spoke aluminum, you know, polished aluminum later. I picked up this set of tires here from Munoz, about 60% tread left, uh, $120 out the door for a matching set. Has about 60% tread life, so it's fine. If you ask me, when did Ford start using the fiberglass skins on their trucks, I would have said when they came out with the crew cabin in 01, but I'd have been wrong. This one's fiberglass. I didn't know they used it back in 98. Uh, that skin's fiberglass. Of course, both sides are. Uh, you can see one place here where somebody's tried to patch it when they had a little dent. Did do a good job, but that's okay. I'm going to budget for a nice new paint job here. Probably next fall. This fender got rolled up a little bit on a fender bender, and it's got a dent right over there. I found me a good um, white fender off an Expedition, and I found one that doesn't have the antenna. There's no hole here, so I'm gonna eliminate this, make it more sleek. I experimented on, Cal on yeah, Caleb's truck, not having a antenna, just having the antenna cable but without the antenna and the radio stations picked up good. So that signal's being bounced off South Mountain, so that won't be a problem. First thing I did when I got it was pull the nasty 60-40 seat out. Took everything out. Took the carpet out. It's laid out here. It took me three hours to power wash it. You wouldn't believe the dirt, the black filth that came out of it. That's the original seat over there. The seat back I replaced. I found a pristine one in the junkyard. The one that was here had a bunch of cigarette burns in it. I got rid of the fort of the 60 portion. I found this at a junkyard. It was pristine but it was a slightly different stitch as you can see. But it was nice. But I took the Original seat back off the 60% seat and put on this one. It has one little spot here, but nothing bad. I wanted this and that to match. The one that came with this was a little more pointed. Hello. <clears throat> I found me a uh, console. Painted it leather brown. What's great about Ford is no matter what configuration you want, the holes are there to bolt it down. The holes are there for the 
that console, the holes are here for this. I didn't have to drill to do anything. Everything just bolted right up. I got me a pristine SLT steering wheel and put it in with the uh, airbag. The original steering wheel was just all destroyed. It was black. And the, those, um, I guess whatever those are, they were black. I got me some tan ones. This was busted or just cracked from the sun up here. I went and got a good one in a junkyard. And I got them, I sanded them down, did three coats of paint, sanded all of it with 300 sandpaper, three more coats of paint, and then five coats of polyurethane. Even took these all apart, did them, put the radio in. This face here was all faded, the colors were faded, and I got me one off a junkyard, like brand new. <clears throat> Dashboard's good, it's got a few places. Nothing big. This was scratched up pretty bad. I got one of these at a junkyard and put it in, so that helped a lot. When I had all this out, I got me some of that 80 mil, 100 mil um, sound deadening and put it all the way from there up under here, all the way up the firewall. So now this thing is quiet whenever you're driving down the road. All the door panels look really good on both sides. I'll probably put a tan camo headliner in here maybe. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but what was amazing was everything on this truck worked great. I mean, I was, I was, I was surprised. It's got their power window, uh, mirrors. They both work fine. The power washer works fine. You know, usually those hoses deteriorate, crack, and even the light, the mercury light, when you raise the, the uh, hood works. The AC works great. The heater works great. It blows right, blows in the right place. Cruise control works. <clears throat> I still got the nice storage back here. So, uh, that's a good thing. It's a 4.2 V6. Runs great. Transmission shifts really smooth. Doesn't use any oil. On the highway, I'm getting 24 miles to the gallon. Some point in its life, it lost its liner up here, a cloth liner. So look at all that. Heat, baked dirt, grime. What I did is I went and got me some, I tried everything. I tried gas, soap, I went and got some rubbing out uh, compound. Now it's work, <laughs> it's a lot of rubbing, but look at the difference. So I'm just doing a little at a time and I'm gonna do all this and then find me a good clean liner and put it back up here. Find me one in a junkyard. I don't have it painted. I um, I went ahead and put a new rear end pinion seal in, in both U joints. And uh, let's see. I'm gonna put some. Uh, I'm gonna get me a set of Skyjacker shocks. There's a set on eBay where it gives you uh, you know some good. Good clearance on the back, but it also lifts it an inch in the front. I'm going to put those on. <clears throat> I 
All right, well, you know what's keeping me busy right now? Originally, I wanted one that was red, so I could, because I wanted to do it cherry red, deep cherry red. But I'm going to keep it white. I'm going to keep this one white. I, I, you know, I don't want to paint the inside door jams underneath the hood. I'm, I'm, I, like, I like this. I'm going to keep it originally white. All right. Talk to you later.